Hi, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. Well, today I have an Ipsy mystery bag for you. So if you want to see what I got, come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new, my name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxings subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy. I also do hauls, Mask Monday, Tea Tuesdays. Just have fun around here. All right, if that sounds good to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button down there. All right, it is completely free and it would mean the world to me. All right, let's get into this. So, oh, I don't always get the mystery bags from um, Ipsy. Ipsy is a monthly beauty subscription, if you're not aware. There, it is $13 a month for the Glam Bag, which is their like lowest rung. And in there you get at five deluxe size samples. Sometimes you'll get a full size item in there. Or, or it's really nice. It honestly is like my favorite beauty box. Next, um, I just lost my train of thought completely. They do have Ipsy Plus where you get five full-size items. That one I believe is now $28 a month. And and every quarter they have the a Ipsy Glam X. X. And that is curated by a different person each quarter. That one I believe is $55. But and I think you can apply your what you would normally pay for your base, your $13 towards that. That, that, but they always, one of the great things about Ipsy is their sales. Well, they always have fantastic add-on sales. Well, you do get to pick one item in your glam bag that you want. And, and they also have mystery bags that you can get. I don't always get the mystery bags, but this one had, had they give you some clues those by telling you names of brands that might be in there. All right, the brands that were going to be in this one were brands that I like, so I went ahead and picked this one up. The mystery bags are usually $14 for this size. And usually you get about five deluxe size samples plus the bag, just like you would get in the glam bag. Okay, so this is the bag. Isn't that pretty? The like holographic design. Like... Oh, <laughs> the cat is apparently messing with the cat is apparently messing with uh, the lighting. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get into this. So it has this cute little pole. I guess it's supposed to be like a lightning bolt. It looks like more like a W or an M. Um, I feel like they should cut like this last part off to make it look more like a lightning bolt. <laughs> but it is pink. It goes well with the design of the bag. There were two things on the outside, right? And that was from the creme shop. And I do love the creme shop. Uh, so there were two masks. This one is a rose water infused essence mask. It says... Promotes healthy, glowing skin, hydrating, cooling, and soothing. And then the one on the other side is the B12 Complex Infused Essence Mask. Helps brighten and moisturize. That's what I need is brightening and moisturizing. And so we have our two masks to start with. Then inside here are from... Um, Seraphine Botanicals, we have pink guava and primer, or oil-free illuminating primer. I was really, when I saw Seraphine Botanicals, I was really hoping it was going to be like one of their lip oils or something. Hey, um, I mean, I'll, I always like a, a pri trying a new primer, so I will use it. I'm just not thrilled with this. Like I said, I when I saw Seraphine Botanicals, I'm used to getting like a lip gloss or something from them and I was kind of hoping for that but okay hey okay. it's a nice size primer too 
and there's not a card or anything in here that tells me like what this is. So then I have from Goldfadden MD. This is the Problem Dull Complexion Solution Doctor's Scrub Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. Okay. It's a decent size sample. Great for travel. Well, it's half an ounce, 15 mLs. Okay. I mean, nothing thrilling, but nothing terrible either. Uh, and a black eyeliner, because why wouldn't we have a black eyeliner? There, this is from KVD Beauty, again, and I think they said had KVD as a spoiler. I was kind of guessing the mascara, which I do love. Um, this is the Cake Pencil Intense Rich Longwear Eyeliner in Trooper Black. So that is what that looks like. I think it was not covered in any way or sealed in any way, which is kind of weird too. But that will go in a giveaway. I am not a black eyeliner person. And it's just a little too harsh for her, my blue eyes. And then the last thing is by Shades by Sean. And, and I feel like we have gotten these a million times. It's Irma. Uh, is it a eyeshadow duo? Oh, we've gotten a ton of Shades by Sean eyeshadow duo. So I'm guessing what that... Oh, no. It's a highlighter. Okay. So at least that's a different things by Shades by Sean. Uh, this is one where uh, the different is is a good thing, and I need a, a new highlighter. I have to like throw out my like favorite highlighter palette and because of of having COVID. I'm kind of getting rid of. Uh, I kind of set aside a couple of items of makeup, and that's all I use during that time. I'm, and I'm pitching all of it now. Oh, uh, so. I'm okay with getting a new highlighter this time. Usually I'm like, really? Another highlighter? I'm okay with getting this one. And it's a pretty color, -er, and it will probably get used. Is, again, that's what it looks like, and that's the Irma color. So, as mystery bags go, it's okay. Hey, I will probably make use of the highlighter. I will definitely make use of the masks. Yes, um... I will try the primer and probably the exfoliator. So the only thing that was really a bummer was the black eyeliner. All right. So let me know what your thoughts were on this mystery bag. And if you would like to see me continue getting the Ipsy mystery bags. Thanks. All right. That is it. That's all I have for you today. Until I see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.